Hi, Dr. Ruth Anderson here with Enlightened World Network. I'm so excited to have Marsha Martin here with us for a meditation a day. Marsha, thank you. Thank you for joining us. As always, I am delighted to be here, especially as we move deep into this winter celebration, these wonderful holidays that usually represent friends and family, but might not happen for you this year. I really want to give everybody that sense of belonging, even if you can only belong through Zoom or Facebook or some other kind of social media. It's important that we remember that no one has been forgotten and we can reach out through our hearts even if we can't be there physically. Exactly, Marsha. Thank you so much. And so many of us on Enlightened World Network have made significant relationships with people that we've only met through Zoom and through Facebook. So um, it's certainly a viable means of reaching out and connecting to somebody else. So we're glad that you're here, Marsha, and we're glad that everybody watching is here with us today. So Marsha, if you are ready to lead us on this meditation, we would love that. Absolutely. And I just want to share, because it's a little bit different this time, we have both Jesus and Archangel Raphael. And when I was communing with them earlier, asking them how they would like to be represented, Jesus, of course, will come in through the heart and radiate outward. But Archangel Raphael will also come in through the heart, and then you may feel his presence as almost a mist, a green mist that is so fine that it will be able to permeate and exist between every molecule that, <laughs> if necessary. But it is a healing, restorative, uh, supportive kind of energy to help us body, mind, and soul. So we're looking to renew and restore Jesus is that beautiful energy of unconditional love which renews us, and Archangel Raphael is that energy of restoration that will bring healing to every aspect of our body. So, if you will, just join me now by closing your eyes. And placing your attention first on the breath. Allow the breath to be your first point of contact. Your first point of renewal and restoration. If you are feeling stressed, overwhelmed, lost or confused, take a moment to close your eyes and breathe deeply. And as you are breathing deeply, move your attention to the heart center and allow that breath to center you and to calm you, to bring you back into this present moment and just enable you to be here in this moment of renewal. And as we keep our attention on the heart center, allow the energy of unconditional love represented by the Ascended Master Jesus to warm your heart center And then to begin spreading outward, ring after ring, 
in the ocean that is you, spreading out from the center of the heart, your purest essence. And as this love spreads outward, you feel the presence of the Christ. You know that you are loved. And you feel the warmth and the joy rising up from deep within you. And as that joy rises up, coming forth with, from within is the energy also of Archangel Raphael. And you may see it or experience it as a green mist that is swirling all around you pouring forth from within and going to the place in your body, mind, or spirit where you need the most healing. Just allow it to go and do that which is needed and keep your focus on the energy of love that is pouring forth from within you pouring forth from the heart center, the place where you are connected with God, the place where you go to be renewed and restored, to align and synchronize with the God force energy. Allowing your breath now to harmonize with the heart. Bringing the thoughts to all that is right, all that is good, and all that is uplifting. Allow the feelings of joy to rise up, to spread through, and to be released out into the world, knowing that this is how you're contributing. This is the gift that you have chosen to give. Allow the energy to continue to pour forth. It comes from God in an unceasing stream of love. It moves through the gateway of the Christ within you and is moved into every fiber of your being. Renewing, restoring, rejuvenating every part of you. Allow your heart to be magnified. Allow it to expand. Allow it to understand its greatness. As you allow yourself to recognize and remember, you are a child of God. You are a powerful presence in the world. You are here to share the gift of love. You don't have to go anywhere or do any overt action. Just stay right here in your heart space. Open to the love. 
that is pouring forth into you ceaselessly. Allow yourself to be filled. Fill every part of your being. Know that you are worthy. Receive because you are a child of the Most High God. Spend this time being renewed, restored, and refreshed by this energy of love. Let go of your limitations. Let go of your false beliefs. Let go of all feelings of unworthiness. Allow them to be carried away on the wings of love. And into your awareness, into your being, comes the knowledge of your value, of your incredible worth and of all that you have to give and share. Love all that you are. Love all that exists in your life right now. Find that which feels good and open your heart to it for gratitude for its existence in your life out from within your heart onto every aspect of your life. Love it all. Bless it all. Give unceasingly to every aspect of your life. Stay in this place of unconditional love. Allow yourself to be the receiver of all good. And as you are filling, Open your heart even further. Continue to allow yourself to expand so that you are receiving more and more love. So that you are being filled to a greater extent than ever before. You are unlimited in your capacity to receive. You are unlimited in your ability to love. And when you allow the Christ to awaken and blossom within you, you become a gateway for eternal good to flow to you and through you. Allow the love that you have become. Allow this love that you received with joy to bubble forth from you. Rise beyond whatever present place you hold. Rise up. Expand, recognize your greatness. And as you continue to receive the unconditional love pouring forth from God,
you are not alone. You are safe and loved. You will never be forgotten. And you will never be asked to do it without assistance. Open to receive. Open to receive even more. Allow it to pour into you, filling every nook and cranny. Allow it to completely fill you. And then allow it to stream out into the world so that you become a blessing. A blessing first to yourself as you open your heart to receive with greater abundance each day. And then a blessing out into the world as you agree to share all that you receive knowing that it is unlimited with everyone that you encounter. Commit this day to coming apart, spending time alone in your heart, communing with God, experiencing the Christ and allowing yourself to be a gateway of blessing, love, joy, and peace. Be a vessel. Be a light. Be the love. by being your most beautiful self. Allow us now to flow our love out into the world Watch as love pours down from heaven, fills your heart to overflowing, and then flows out into the world. A beautiful stream of blessings. And for your gift, you become fuller each day, more expanded, more abundant, more able to commune with God. Always overflowing, never empty, always renewed, always restored. Allow yourself to be fully immersed in this energy of renewal. And restoration. Let it come up from within you and wash over your entire being. And allow the love that is you to add to this. And now together, let us bless this energy
and send it forth as our gift to the world. And let us commit to doing this on a daily basis. Let us be the gift, the gift of love. And let us be the gateway of expansion, of unending, unconditional love. And now, let us step further into the heart space. Let us expand yet again. Be uplifted, be renewed, and be restored as you accept this outpouring of love. And from this place of expansion, you need never return. Allow your expanded, uplifted, inspired self to take the place of any part of you that has grown worn or weary. And now fully occupy the physical being, the physical space that is you, and be restored. May the love and light of God be ever upon you. And so it is. Marsha, I had to come a long way back from that one. That was just what I needed. <laughs> I was just saying, gosh, I feel a little weary. I don't anymore. I certainly feel renewed. Right. You're a dynamic duo. That was the, right. Archangel Raphael and the Christ consciousness. I, I don't know that you can get much higher than that. It was beautiful. Just magnificent. And I really feel inspired to encourage everyone to spend time daily with them as we are moving hopefully toward a vaccine and away from the restrictions of COVID, let us find a pathway back to belonging, belongingness again. I think we've stepped away from that a little bit into that place of fear brought on by fighting with something that we can't see. But we must always remember that love will conquer everything. So it's time to step away from all fear and fight and into just love and joy, knowing that we are safe and loved. Yes. You, you said a couple things that really stuck out to me. One thing you said was, joy rises up within us. And a couple of times during the meditation, you had us go to that place of joy. 
and I thought there are some folks that are thinking it's not okay to feel joy because of what other people are going through. Can you talk about that for a minute? That is such a brilliant point because yes, and I too have been guilty of, gosh, maybe I shouldn't be feeling excited and exuberant and joyful right now. People have lost loved ones and people are losing jobs and it, it could be very tough. But we must remember that nothing can be gained from a place of contraction and sorrow except more sorrow and more reasons to be withdrawn. So when we are willing and accepting of our joy and the good, we not only bring that into our own lives, but we make it more accessible for everyone else. So you're not hurting someone else by being joyful. You are acting as a bridge. You are helping instead of hurting. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. And then you also said you're here to share the gift of love. And I think really that's all we are. That's, I mean, none of us have to take on the roles that we have been given of having podcasts or writing books or any of that. We're really only asked to be here as a vessel of love. And it's something that absolutely everyone can do. And I think that's where we sometimes forget. I get on the hamster wheel of, am I doing enough? Everyone can share love. And if that's your main directive, your reason for being, then you are doing more than enough. And it's just okay to sit back and say, if I am sharing love, with absolutely everyone whom I encounter and everyone around me and with the world that I have done more than enough and I can be absolutely joyous about my contribution to the world, to the healing and to the ascension, the awakening that is happening. Right, I, I think just being able to hold the planet and humanity in that space of love and peace is such a beautiful gift that's so needed right now. Yes, and not everyone is comfortable doing a podcast or uh, YouTube or any of these, or writing books, but everyone has love to share. And they can share it in the way that feels best to their heart. Let's say uh, you like gardening. A beautiful garden is a wonderful way to share love. It's just, there are, anything that you do well is a way that you can share love. Because that's the gift that you have chosen to bring. So please let's not get caught up in my way isn't good enough or isn't contributing. Your way is absolutely perfect. And without you, we would be missing something incredible. That's a beautiful gift. Thank you for that beautiful reminder and beautiful gift today. Marsha, we so love having you here on Enlightened World Network. If people want to know more about you and how to follow your work, how do they find you? They are welcome to join me on my website. It's Marsha Martin, thehearthealer.com or mmhearthealer.com. And you can also join me on Facebook, but my website, I will help you be uplifted and inspired, and just feel good about what you're going through. There's access to podcasts, to YouTube, to a blog that just shares practical insight. How can we take this spiritual community, these energetic beings that want to help us, and get real world results? Because if it's not helping us, here in our physical existence, it's really not helping. <laughs> so the focus is always on practical solutions that help us bring that spiritual greatness into our lives more fully. 
Marcia, you also provide a deep dive on the different archangels. So if somebody wants to learn more about the archangels, they can do that with your YouTube videos as well. Absolutely. The YouTube channel is really focused on introducing all of the energetic beings and the different ways in which they can help us navigate our lives. And I especially love if you have a particular topic or some, a concern and you just really feel, gosh, I could use some support, but I don't know who to call on, put it in the comments below any of the videos that you've already watched and the angels will help us with appropriate support is they love to help and one of the things that i think is the most wonderful about the angels is that god is perfect and so the angels are not without reward they are not god's servants they are god's helpers and the angels are also growing and evolving and becoming just as we are so as they help us they receive um, commendation or like a, a promotion in the angelic hierarchy and they grow closer to God. So as they help us in our ascension journey and our desire to expand and to become more like God, they are also receiving a blessing for being of help. So please feel free to call upon them anytime Remember that they are omniscient. They can be anywhere at any time. You cannot be taking them away from something more important. That's not possible. So enjoy the angels. Enjoy your time with them and call upon them because they love you and they love helping. Thank you, Marcia. That Yes, you said so many important things there. And I, I completely forget to ever bring up that the angels do receive accolades for the work that they do with us. Yes, 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 yes. And I think that was the thing that I, it took me the longest to get over is I was always worried that, hey, I feel like I'm kind of abusing you. I'm calling on you all the time. And, you know, what do you get for it? I can't pay you. I can't, you know, I thank you. But. And then I remembered, oh my gosh, no, they, they're becoming too. They're the, on their own journey of fulfillment. And this is one of the ways that they grow. And certainly I know being able to help others grow has been so rewarding for me and so expanding for me. So in that way, I think I understand a little bit of the joy that the angels receive from helping us. Yes, thank you. Marcia, thank you so much for being here with us today. We love you dearly. And to all of our friends here on Enlightened World Network, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming in and taking that deep dive. And do know that you mean a great deal to us. We hope you take good care and God bless. <laughs>